styling one of my favorite blazers today. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel always to help you with your style, to help you look like the best version of yourself. Why? Because I believe in the close connection, the powerful connection between the way you look and the way you feel. So if you look better, you feel better. And for me personally, it just brings me so much joy to help other women. Otherwise, why would I still be in the game uploading videos every single week for over five years if it were not a true heartfelt passion? It is, and you guys are amazing. You bring me so much joy and purpose, and so thank you for that. But today, I wanna to talk about the blazer. So specifically, this blazer, it's the Veronica Beer Dickey blazer. I have talked about it ad nauseum if you're a regular Watcher, you will know I have mentioned the Veronica Beards blazer before. The reason I love it so much is because it's a high quality fabric. It's a beautifully cut, beautifully tailored. Also, it has a dicky, so you can interchange the dickies. So here's an example. You can zip this out and try something different, wear it without the dicky, do a sweater dicky, leather dicky, suede dicky, hoodie dicky like I'm wearing. There's a bunch of different options and I feel like it, provides so much versatility for this one piece and you can just slowly over time build up your dicky collection i'm going to say that word a lot this video so just you know buckle up get used to it you're going to hear it a lot dicky 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 i wanted to style this multiple ways and just show you some of the options i'm going to give you the basics i'm going to give you something a little edgier and i'm going to give you something just outside the box so you can really try to maximize the purchase i know a lot of you got this particular piece for christmas because you told me or hanukkah i thought i would style this blazer and show you a bunch of different ways to style since so many of you wrote to me and sent me pictures that you got this exact blazer for Christmas and you are so excited. So I really wanted to share some ideas, some styling ideas for it to help you if you're kind of a little bit lost. Before I dive into the looks, just wanna say a huge thank you to Nordstrom. This video is sponsored by one of my all-time favorite retailers, Nordstrom. So thank you and thank you for watching. So let's get started. The first outfit I wanna show you is something really basic and it's a go-to and this would be for sure one of my go-tos. I would do just a white t-shirt under the hoodie dicky, a pair of dark wash jeans and a pair of dark booties. So the dark booties and the dark jeans keep the line very long and lean. The white t-shirt provides a little contrast. Your hoodie dicky gives it a little edge. And then on my feet, I just wanna mention these really cool booties by Alexander Wang. I've showed them before. They're very comfortable. I really love wearing them. I feel like that cutout at the heel is super cool and edgy and gives it a little extra twist, a little extra something special. They are a little bit slippery, so if you're in a cooler climate, this is not going to be the ideal everyday boot for you, but I have a pair coming up that actually is, so stay tuned. This is your go-to. This is your fail safe with your Veronica Beard blazer. By the way, I know this blazer is expensive and it's an investment. I will put a black blazer option for much less for those of you who do not wanna spend that much on a blazer. Totally get it. We'll, as always, put an option for less. The second option I wanted to show you is something with flared jeans because they are back. I, don't, I feel like I've been talking about them for a while, saying they're coming back, they're coming back, they're coming back. They're not the hottest jean right now. I would say probably the oversized 90 style jean is. What I love about flare jeans is that they do give your body some balance if you have curves. So if you do have bigger hips and butt and thighs, the wider leg will balance out those curves. And it just feels fresh and new compared to the skinny, 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 skinny. So there are quite a few skinnies in this video, but I also wanted to give you some alternatives to the skinny. For those of you who are just burned out on the skinny, I'm getting there but not quite. I still love them. I really do, I still love them. <laughs> do I? Yes. With the flare jeans, these are by Hudson, by the way, and they do have a little bit of distressing at the knee, but I wanted to point out that this distressing isn't at the like bad part of your knee. It's like just above the kneecap, and it's also loose right around that part of your knee, so it doesn't like pinch or show. You know, sometimes if they're so tight and they pinch and you've got skin peeping through, you don't have that with this distressing. And they're very high rise, and and a, kind of a dark gray wash. With these flare jeans, I have on a really beautiful Johnny, Johnny turtleneck. This one has a subtle 
Swiss dot fabric. It's a, like a gauzy fabric. So if you're familiar with the line Fuzzy, F-U-Z-Z-I, it's that same type of like gauzy, meshy fabric. So it's very lightweight and breathable. The other really nice thing about this fabric is that it's easy to tuck in and it layers beautifully. I've become a really big fan of this line Johnny, G-A-N-N-I. I've got a few of their pieces now and I'm really enjoying them. I like the price point for the quality. They're really lovely pieces, but this turtleneck is especially lovely. I love that it has kind of a sheer sleeve. It's got a slight balloon sleeve. It's just beautiful. And I think you guys will love it, especially for just layering, but then it also looks great on its own as well. On my feet here, I'm wearing a pair of pumps and that was just really only because I forgot a booty. I meant to show this with my dressy booties, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to wear a dark shoe or booty to keep the line long. And then the heel's going to depend on obviously the weather, the climate, what you're able to walk in, and then also the hemline of the jeans. So remember with a jean like this, you really want to maximize that leg lengthening effect. You really want that hemline long. I would do half to three quarters of an inch off the ground. That's just like this much, a hair off the ground. That's it. So wear whatever shoe or heel makes sense for you and your legs in relation to the hemline. Does that make sense? <laughs> you want to wear a pair of shoes that work for this specific pair of jeans and then just also choose one that is in a dark color to keep the line nice and long. Another thing I love about these jeans, just how they make your legs look a mile long. The skinnies, I feel like can make you look slimmer sometimes, but they don't elongate the legs the way the high rise wide leg jean or trouser does. The next look I wanted to show you is a pair of leggings. Very controversial. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I did upload a legging video and then I ended up taking it down. It's literally, besides the vlogs, the only video I've ever taken down, mainly because there was just some controversy around it. Like, and I didn't, I was just not feeling it. Leggings are controversial. They're very polarizing. So if you don't like leggings, just skip to the next outfit or consider wearing a dark wash skinny jean instead. You can just substitute the dark wash skinny jean and this whole look will still work. I happen to be a fan. There are a couple ways you can do the legging and still feel very comfortable and secure. Like you're not letting it all hang out. You know what I mean? The first key is to wear a tunic sweater or top that's longer so it covers up everything in the front and covers up everything in the back. That's tunic length and that's ideal for a pair of leggings. So this pair of leggings is a very popular pair. Some of you may be sick of hearing about them. It's the Spanx full leather leggings. I love them. They suck everything in. They look really edgy and cool and they're very comfortable. This pair very high rise as well. They are a little bit on the longer side. So for me, they do bunch a bit at the ankle. If you're a little bit taller, they're going to be perfect. With these, I have on a pair of waterproof, warm, like shearling lined moto boots. Aren't these just so cool? I'm so excited about these boots. By the way, on the blog, I'm going to do a comparison of this pair of boots that's a little bit pricier and a pair for much less that looks very similar. I'm excited about that. These boots are killer. Love them. Comfortable, warm, waterproof, the whole thing. Great for Telluride where I live, where it's icy and snowy most of the time this time of year. I really think they're very functional. I'm going to wear them a whole lot. The key with a legging look is to have a tunic length top or sweater. So in this look, I'm wearing a tunic length cashmere sweater. This one's by Halogen. It is on sale and very affordable. I feel like this is a unicorn. You got to jump on this one. If you've been looking for a tunic length sweater, they're really hard to find. Something that's definitely going to cover your bum and everything in the front. You should jump on this one. It comes in gray also. So I got the gray in the black so that I can wear my leggings more often. I want to talk about the shoes a little bit more because I think this is a really important point to make. I have tried many times to wear my full leather leggings in black with a pair of like shearling brown and white boots with a longer tunic sweater. It doesn't really work on me because you don't have that much length if you're petite between the bottom of the tunic and the top of those boots. And that's basically, it makes your legs look like this long. 
Like literally you have like a foot and a half of space. I do anyway. If you've got really long legs and I've seen some women pull this off beautifully where they wear like a white tunic sweater and the black leggings and a pair of brown and white boots and it looks really cool. It's because they have really long legs. If you don't have really long legs, I do not. I'm 5'4", I'm petite. You need to do a long line. That's going to be black boots, the black leggings, black sweater. If I were to do the white sweater, black leggings, I would still do the black boots. If I were to try my brown boots, I might try it with a shorter sweater or top just to give myself a little more leg real estate. Otherwise it looks like I said, my legs are like this big. So that's no good. Next, I wanted to show you a really trendy option. So you're taking this really classic blazer and then by adding the hoodie dicky and some other pieces, which I'm gonna show you right now, you can make it look much more trendy and youthful. This might be a look that many of you are uncomfortable with, so it might be for more of my younger viewers, but I feel like it also can work for all ages. It just depends on your attitude and what you're feeling comfortable with and what you're feeling like you wanna push the envelope with. I would definitely wear it, but I would feel like, hmm, am I, Am I pushing it too far? It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to show it to you because I think it's a really cool look. It's just for those of you who are brave enough to wear it. Under the blazer, I have on a graphic t-shirt. This one's by Anine Bing, which is really hot right now. Her t-shirts are boxy, I wanna warn you, not great. They don't look great alone, unless you're like stick thin. I don't know why. I think everything looks good on people that are stick thin, but I don't know, they just don't look that great alone. So anyway, full disclosure, doesn't look great alone. And then I tuck that into a pair of of Topshop jeans. These are more of a modern silhouette because they are more oversized, a little bit baggy, roomier through the legs. And then they do have quite a bit of distressing at the knee. And on my feet, I've got on those same Alexander Wang cutout heel booties. This again, very trendy, very youthful, kind of pushing it for me even. If you wanna make modifications here, you could easily swap out the graphic tee. You could easily swap out the jeans for something more classic. But this is for those of you who are like really feeling like you're gonna push the envelope. I love that, you know, you guys know that. I'm always talking about the importance of pushing the envelope. So here's a way that you can do it. I told you I wanted to give you options. Here's the blazer with a pair of silky jogger pants. These joggers remind me so much of a pair I had when I was 25 years old. I remember wearing these to the Nickelodeon. It was a Nickelodeon like Kids Choice Awards, I think it was called. They remind me of these pants that I had and I wore to this like special event and they were so cool. I thought they were so cool back then. So I just, I'm excited to have a pair like this that are silky and cargo-y and just they're elegant, that combination of elegant and edgy in one. And I paired that with the same Alexander Wang booties, the same Veronica Beard blazer, but I switched out the dicky to a sweater dicky. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more elegant since the pants are so edgy. So I added the sweater dicky with this one. And then underneath just a basic cami. So you can always do just a basic tee or basic cami underneath your blazer, no problem. But just thinking about if you do want the option of taking off your blazer, will your top or tee stand on its own? Will you feel comfortable wearing on its own? And then this bag I've been looking at for a long time and wanting to test it out and see what it's all about because I think it's just a, such a gorgeous bag. It's by Tori Birch. It's the Lee Radzowell bag and I love the croc emboss leather. I love the shape of the bag. It reminds me of a Birkin bag and I also love that black brown combination. It's just like that little that little hint of brown on the side, just such a, it's just such a great bag. It's such an elegant, beautiful, polished bag. I'm really just excited to test out this bag and try it and share it with you guys. It's one that I've had my eye on for a while. I really think it's beautiful. And for those of you who are interested in any of these looks, by the way, I'll put them by look, by piece in the description box below. So you can just click on the description box and you'll see them all delineated there. I will also put the time codes so you can easily refer back if you'd like to. I wanted to end with another basic look, but it's a little bit different than that first look I showed you with the white tee and the blue jeans. In this look, I'm wearing a beautiful frame mock neck keyhole blouse. I love this blouse so much. I'm probably gonna get it in white also. I've said this a thousand times. I love frame blouses, okay? So this one I love because I love the mock neck. I love the keyhole detail. I love the little puff shoulder. I also love the length of the top because for me, it's kind of the perfect length. It's not too long. I don't have to worry about tucking it in. But if I do wanna tuck it in, it's a cinch because the fabric is so lightweight. It's just beautiful, beautifully cut 
They just fit me really well. Do you know what I mean? And so when you find a brand that really works well for your body, buy more from that brand. They're going to be cut for you. You know, you don't ever have to reinvent the wheel. I paired that with the back to the hoodie dicky, the this same blazer, and then a pair of frame ankle skinnies in this almost like stone wash and dark charcoal gray. I feel like the dark gray stone wash makes it a bit more subtle. So it is, you know, it's still stone wash, but it feels more subtle in this dark gray palette. And I really like these jeans. And of course the length is easy for me because it's ankle length. So that's a, almost the perfect length for ankle booties. But if you are very tall, it's gonna be a lot shorter on you. So just keep that in mind. Let me know if you have any questions about the blazer or any of the looks. I will put all the information in the description box as I always do. This blazer, by the way, I think runs true to size. So I order a size two. Um, I'm typically two, four, and the two fits me just perfectly. I guess if you're between two sizes, I might size down, but double check that size chart. You know, I always talk about that. Double check that size chart and make sure you're ordering the right size for you. But it's Nordstrom guys. So if you get the wrong size, you can always send it back or exchange it. No problem. If they're so great with with shipping and returns. So huge thank you to Nordstrom again for sponsoring this. Huge thank you to you guys for watching. By the way, I have opened up my Facebook group to everyone. It's now a free group that will be moderated. We will answer your style questions. It's the Busby Style Hive, and I will put a link to it below in the description box. And if you're not already on my newsletter list, you need to get on that because I send out a weekly newsletter with kind of a roundup of all the content and also just a really um, heartfelt letter for me, what's going on with my life and my family and um, more personal stuff in that newsletter. It's a really great way to stay connected to what's going on with the Busby Style community, with me, and I think that you'll really enjoy the newsletter. So if you haven't subscribed already, um, I will also put a link to subscribe below in the description box and you do get a lot of freebies when you sign up for my email newsletter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.